You know, Brandon Rush is a spot-up shooter. He's a wing player. You can play him either at the two or the three. And he's a, a good defensive player as well. Not afraid to chase guys down in breakaway situations and go for those blocks, a la LeBron James. It's just a little bit of everything that Rush gives. On offense, he's uh, you know, just great at knocking down an open shot. And he can open up lanes for his teammates. And for the Pistons, we've got another hometown game here in Detroit. They've got to feel like, guys, they have an opportunity to rack up some wins over the next stretch of their schedule. You know, they'll be playing a lot of games in their own building. You know, for the Pistons, they've certainly gotten off to a great start, and it wasn't expected from most. This was a team that... Had low expectations, but a really quick start here. Yeah, pleasant surprise to start the season. They've gotten off on the right foot, and... You know, we may have to revise our expectations for this club. They look pretty tough right now. Now, here's Curry. Coming off a stellar performance against Orlando. Dishes to Barnes. He dishes it to Rush. Six on the shot clock. And shot on the way. Prince with the defensive effort. So for the Pistons, their last game, a win against Cleveland. And Clark, to me, was the tremendous interior defense that was the difference in that game. Yeah, I love just how organized they were in the post defensively. They were communicating, they were moving their feet, their bodies were active. It was a very disciplined defensive performance. And so it's the Pistons getting on the board first. Curry with it. Back to Landry. Back and down. The turnaround. They get it back. Chance it spin down. That's what he's all about. That's who he is. Retrieving those misses and exploding right back to the bucket. Prime example of it right there. No question. Good point, Clark. Yeah, great rebounder and a great finisher. So that's a, a difficult combination to deal with for the defense. Stolen by Landry. Three on three. Takes it from 10. Detroit with the rebound. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. Well, they went 0-2 against them last year, and you know, they feel like they should have done much better. They look for a, an intense game tonight. You know, those types of high-percentage shots, Kevin, should be a big part of what they do going forward. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, I caught up with Coach Lawrence Frank. One player that he's talked to his guys a lot about is Stephen Curry. He said Curry's one of the premier shooters in the game, and he's got that quick trigger. We really have to be tight to him, get physical, and try to get him on his heels as much as possible. Guys, Curry is an excellent free throw shooter. We'll see if they can do that without fouling him. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. And you're right, Clark. A poor outcome last season. Both of these clubs have suffered similar fates. Yeah, Kev, the word for the day is not necessarily rebuilding, but they need to be gradually improved. And I think they are. I think so, too. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. You know, there have been rumblings, guys, that the Warriors are looking uh, at a return to San Francisco and maybe building uh, a new stadium across the bay. But uh, we'll see how that goes. That's a very difficult uh, thing to do these days to secure the finances necessary and the permits through the city. So we'll see what ends up happening. But either way, we know the Warriors will remain extremely popular in the Bay Area. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. And of course the Golden State Warriors. Four games back. You know for the Warriors, I mean they've shown some nice improvement here early in the season. This is a team that's on the move and on the rise. Yep, a pushover no longer. I mean, they're starting to hold their own and the fans are really starting to get behind them. And I know they've been looking for a place to play in San Francisco. They had a chance to go play over where the Giants are. And they chose Clark, their own spot down on Pier 3032. So in 2017, they will be in San Francisco. That's right. Coming to the Bay, it's hard enough to find parking in San Francisco, <laughs> much less a spot to put a stadium in.
Right side curve. Takes it up. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. But you look at Steph Curry, lightly recruited out of high school and ended up playing collegiately at Davidson. And of course, who could forget their amazing run in Curry's sophomore season? Davidson made it all the way to the Elite Eight, losing to the eventual national champion, Kansas Jayhawks. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the league, and this game, no different. He's making each trip to the line count. Stucky outside. Friends outside. Shot clock at six. Shot off the screen. The shot will not go. The Warriors go the other way. And you know, Steph Curry, to his credit, has spent part of his offseason back on campus at Davidson, finishing his degree in sociology. He stayed close to that team as well. And certainly there's still a bond between Steph Curry and the Davidson community. He had a special few years there as a student athlete. That's a bond that I think will continue throughout his life. And the shot is good from Stucky. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Nine against Curry. With the lead pass, Barnes. Good, and Curry gets the assist. The Pistons trail it. Well, you look at Mark Jackson, I think he's got a ton of potential as a head coach. He was a great point guard in this league, one of the all-time leading assist makers in NBA history. And a really good person. He has a wonderful feel for people, a good communicator. He's got a chance to be really good. Warriors have gone four for nine from the field to strike this game off. And you know, when you shoot and score like they did in that one, Kevin, it covers up a lot of mistakes that you make in other areas. And early on, Steve, they got hot as a team, and it pretty much lasted the duration of the game. The feed to Landry. Good luck. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got four assists in the game. And Steve, we talked about Mark Jackson's potential as a coach. New to the profession, but a long-time playing career as a point guard. He was a leader, so he recognizes that. How do you think he'll be, you know, as he continues on? Think he'll be successful? I, I do, Kevin. I, he communicates well. We talked about it, the fact that he was a broadcaster. Obviously speaks well, and it's funny, and I think that's important as a coach. He's also very demanding. He knows what he wants. The uh, biggest thing is he's, he has to get players. And, you know, when he came in last year, Golden State was very thin. They didn't have much talent. But they're starting to build that talent base. And I think Mark will grow with this team. From 11 feet away, Stucky outside. Stucky right side. Here's Hammond. And good. Got on the assist by Rodney Stucky. Big dog got six. The Warriors have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Kicks it to Rush. Feeds to Lee. Monroe on him. Lee passes to Lang. It's on target from a high post. He's got eight. Here's a chance for them to retake the lead. Tell you what, they've done well to stick around these last few minutes. Knight kicks to Stucky. Gives him the lead pass. Here's Hammond. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Outside Curry. Pass to Barnes. Back to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. And there's Barnes. That's good on the assist by Curry. And it's six points for Barnes. Hasn't had a whole lot of misses here in the quarter. Very sharp shooting right now. It's fun to watch. Easy shot. And that one's good. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, speaking of effortless, we'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Uh, how about trying, guys? Now, here's Curry. Averaging 19 points per contest. Rush. Here's Lee. 
Craig Monroe with the rebound. An easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. To the inside. And stolen by Barnes. Curry dishes the rush. Detroit with the rebound. Big John's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He passes to Prince. He kicks tonight. There's Big Dog. That's good. The assist that time from Knight. Big Dog's got 10 points in the game. Well, five for six here in the first quarter, so he's rolling. You know, the Pistons had a look at the playoffs for a brief moment last year, Kevin, but couldn't quite make the sustained push. Their shortcoming made it three straight seasons now without postseason play. It's a The Pistons have gone 7 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Knight with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. To the middle. Here's Hammond. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. 12 points for him. Adding on to what you were saying, Clark, about the Pistons, the team has been around in one form or another for 70 years now. They've only missed the playoffs 24 times. That's pretty consistent. Yeah, they brought home three titles uh, since they moved from Fort Wayne to Detroit. Of course, back-to-back -back titles uh, with Isaiah Thomas and the Bad Boys. And then uh, more recently, that group with Chauncey Billups, Rip Hamilton. Uh, so an organization that's rich in that tradition. And both free throws good for a lead. Well, he gives them a, a terrific option whenever they've got the ball because he's mastered a lot of the moves that you need to be a premier scorer down in the low block. That's exactly right, Steve, but also he's a tremendous finisher. I mean, it doesn't matter if he draws contact on his way to the rim or not. He'll find a way to get it to go. They are setting the tone here early with their work on the boards. And only a moderate advantage here, a slight one, but as the game wears on, it's one they'll definitely look to build on. Here's Rush. That's good. It's been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Um, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. So it's Detroit now, following the score by Golden State. Stucky outside. There's the screen. And there's the pass to Prince. Basket is good. The assist from Stucky. Stucky's got three assists tonight. Something has to change, guys. That's ten straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there, and everybody's got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the ball, and then everybody's got to get in there and keep the defense locked down. He feeds it to Landry. Lock at six. Passes to Rush. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Landry's got 10 points in the game. Pistons trail by four. Knight with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Knight passes to Stuckey. Carries it from about 10 feet away. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And see, if I'm him, I'd, I'd keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. If they don't offer resistance, take everything you can get in there. Here's Lee, following the basket by Rodney Stuck. And the Warriors tack on two more. It has been all offense here early. It sure has been. I mean, both teams clicking, and it's been an entertaining game as well, guys. Knight kicks to Stuck. Over Rush. And again, it's Rodney Stuckey. Six points for him. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And here is Curry. Here's Barnes. Inside to Lent. Over Prince. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. 
Knight kicks to Stucky. Stucky gets a screen from Monroe. Stucky dishes to Prince. Over Barnes. And there's Tayshawn Prince on the assist by Stucky. And that's now six points for Prince. Here's Curry. No good on the buzzer beater. Now it's been a high scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Nothing like NBA action. So come. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, how would you grade them? I'll tell you what, I like what I've seen from this club defensively. They're forcing a lot of turnovers with their quick hands and ability to play the passing lanes. Well, you talk about quick hands, but I think it's the mindset of being aggressive and then obviously being active with the hands, tracing that ball so you can come up with deflection that may lead to steal. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Pistons. Him in its center. McGinney out there with Charlie going away. Then there's Brandon Knight and it's Bynum in at the point. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Big dog in their last match. Second quarter with uh, a little over a minute gone. Now the dish to McGetty. Jefferson on him. Puts it up. And there's another one for the Pistons. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. The Warriors leading. Inside. Here's Tyler. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a huge play. An open lane right there pretty much saw the daylight he wanted and took advantage. Yeah, great opportunity, and he sees it without much hesitation. Yeah, a little too easy, if you ask me. The defense really needs to tighten things up here. That was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Sprite. And Lawrence Frank of the Pistons, one of those rare coaches who not only wasn't an NBA player, but didn't even make his high school team. But he's been around this game for a long time, and... He's done an excellent job with Detroit. Here's Thompson on the mark with the 15 foot. Now here's Bynum. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Dishes to McGetty. He dishes it to Stucky. Back to McGetty. On the wing, Stucky. Six to shoot. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. And Jefferson throws it down. Nice, aggressive defensive play to make the steal and start the break. Yeah, and I like the fact they didn't mess around with it once they got it. And going back to Lawrence Frank, he played in community center rooms, who was the team manager in college at Indiana. And, and obviously, Steve learned a great deal. Yeah, pretty amazing story when you think about it. Most coaches in the league were former players. Uh, or maybe big-time college coaches. So a real success story for Frank and the hard work, uh, the influence from coaches that he's been around has helped him become a good coach in the league. Offensive rebound. Zini power down with both hands. No time wasted getting back off the ground when he got his hands on the ball. I like that quickness of jump. And that's the idea, right? You know, take it back up strong. Yeah, of course. I mean, no reason to hold on to it any longer than you have to. Takes a shot at the elbow. Warriors leading by seven. You know, the interesting story a year ago with Golden State was promising season ticket holders that they would make the playoffs. And... Uh, you know, I thought it went overboard a little bit because the Warriors team just wasn't quite talented enough to fulfill that promise. And anytime you put yourself out on a limb like that, uh, it can be dangerous. You're now in a vulnerable spot. Yeah, they're not going to miss too many of those. That's high percentage stuff there. And just over three and a half minutes play here in the second quarter. And Jenkins kicks to Jefferson. The feed to Thompson. The three. There's the bucket. Good. Thompson's got his second bucket tonight. 
And to be fair, the Warriors were in a position at one point where they had a chance at the playoffs going back some time now, but the injuries just put them out of contention. Yeah, it really did. And it, although it derailed them a bit, it showed the value of depth, something the Warriors wanted to address this offseason. And they still have playoff ambitions because of that. Jefferson passing to Jenkins. Here's Thompson. Here's Tyler. Slams it on the run. Excellent job carving out space on his last to make that footback possible. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already real in December. Yurentko dishes to go in away. No good. You know, one of the reasons the Warriors traded Monte Ellis last year was because they had Clay Thompson waiting in the wings. Got better size at the shooting guard than Ellis had. A dead-eye shooter, and I think a guy who has an opportunity. To oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yeah. punch right there. Oh, Call it bang oh, time and game. bang time. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you gotta just shake your head on that one. Charles Jenkins is checked in for the Warriors. You know, last year the Pistons were a team that really lacked a go-to score. Just never really knew where their offense was going to come from, game to game. And I think that had an effect on how they finished in the standings, no doubt. I agree. And now the Pistons fast break. Maggetti defended by Jack. Offensive rebound. Here's Villanueva. Maggetti. Here's Hammond. It's good. This game is all even. Big Dogs got 14. So it's the Warriors now. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first half. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. And one place that not having a reliable score of her game was against the West, Steve. They, they, they couldn't match the offense of a lot of the teams they faced. Yeah, that's why they went 5-13 and 13 in games against Western Conference teams last year. Uh, but they need talent. They need more scoring offensively. So difficult uh, to beat really talented teams uh, just relying on your defense. They've got to get more firepower. Well, smooth around the rim definitely is not the word I'd use to describe him. He's got some rough edges to it. Knight. Kicks to Villanueva. Maggetti outside. The Pistons working the ball around now. Shot is blocked. It's two on one. Ahead. And Jenkins kicks to Jefferson. Feeds it to Jack. Stolen. Get it to go. And the first half ends in a close one. Warriors lead by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Now, presented by Sprint. It's Wednesday night at the 2K Sports Studio, and this is the halftime report. The Warriors are putting up one heck of a fight. They've come out of the gates strong to start, looking to keep going. The first half performance by Carl Landry was just terrific. He's got 10 points, and it's been a good overall defensive game for him. He's brought a nice intensity to the floor in this one. On the other hand, Detroit also been giving its best. They've been relentless attacking the rim, dominating in points in the paint, and the bodies down low have been banging away. Big Dog having himself a big-time game. He's up to 14 points and has been very efficient, converting his shots into points with a nice field goal percentage. And that's it for now. Thanks for stopping in with us. It's time to head back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, who are all ready with the call. Second half. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. We've seen Carl Landry really having a great game. That's been nothing but positive for this team. The way he's been really selective with his, with his shot making. Very unselfish. I think this has been an efficient performance for him. 
I agree with you, Steve. Very few questionable decisions, if any, from him, as he has always looked for the best shot every trip down the floor. I mean, I like the fact that he's judicious in his approach. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Harrison Barnes is out there with Carl Landry. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Rush, and it's Lee in at the center. Well, the thing I think people admire about him is that he's able to drop the three ball seemingly effortlessly. It's almost like second nature to him. Yeah, it's natural. It's certainly not something he thinks about. I love the stroke on his shot from long range. And you certainly know something about that from his fingertips to nylon. Smooth set. Now let's go to Doris Burke, Doris. Hi, Kevin. Well, leading up to last season, the Warriors had led the league in fast break points for five straight seasons. But last season, they plummeted to 15th in that category. Coach Mark Jackson said it wasn't by design. Listen, I'd like us to push the basketball much more. With a team that is not used to winning, I think you tend to slow it down and think, okay, let's make sure we get it right. But that's not when we're at our best. It's really easy. Get stops, push the pace, and take care of the ball so the opposition can't run off your mistakes. Guys, we'll see if they can get back to pushing that style of tempo. That up tempo style has been their hallmark, Doris, but defense and rebounding becoming more and more of a priority. And now, Stucky running the floor all by himself. And that's exactly what you call a high percentage hoover there. It sure is. Mm. The one-handed throwdown. Gotta love it. Now, Kirk. Pass to Barnes. Shot clock at six. He kicks it to Rush. With the clock winding down. Tayshawn Prince with the rebound. Prince has got his third rebound tonight. Yeah, just one for four here in the third quarter. So, a very slow start for this club. There's Big Dog. Stucky outside. Stucky left side. Rush grabs the miss. Well, that's an excellent challenge right there. Good job contesting that shot by the defender. Curry against Knight. Lee is screen on Knight. Here's Curry. Another miss by Curry. I'm sure he'd like to have a do-over here. He just hasn't been able to make a significant contribution in this one. Back to Knight. Shoots over Curry. A nice shot by Knight. They got him. The Pistons have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Right with it. He has five. Down low. Here's Hammond. Jason Maxiel with the slam. And the Pistons lead by four. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. Yeah, Steve and Kevin, you guys got to love this teamwork. I mean, everybody's involved and engaged. That's the thing of beauty to watch. Yeah, sir. And when all five guys, Clark, are threats to score, that makes it so tough on the defense because now you, you, you can't account for everybody when the ball's moving so quickly. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps. And they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. But Getty with it. Jefferson picks him up. Takes it right up. Oh, oh. oh went in there and tried to power it down. But Drew Konjak, he'll head to the line. Yeah, that's smart basketball. You foul and you send a very poor free throw shooter to the line. Yeah, I think that's just smart. I mean, especially the way he's been throwing it down. Make him earn it at the strike. Some changes for Golden State. Lee comes in for Izzy Lee, and Carl Landry has subbed in for Tyler. Well, I'm sure he'd like to have that one back, but making it a two-possession game was the key, and he got that done. Here's Maggetti. Seven points in the game. You know, the Warriors just have been one of those teams the last few years that can't 
close out games on the road and that was certainly the case for them again last season I think part of it is not being strong enough defensively there's the pick Knight passes today over Landry Detroit no good that time either well with that much space off the pick you've got to drop that in yeah you got to make that one I mean that's a high quality shot you should make nine out of ten times gets it to go now just a one-point Piston lead. Back to the Warriors on the road. I can think of a few games where they let leads evaporate before their eyes. Steve away from the Bay Area. I think to win on the road, Kevin, you've got to defend. You've got to be able to string together some stops. And Golden State's defense last year, and really for the last several years, uh, has, has really struggled. So uh, they, they will win on the road if they can improve their defense. Curry kicks to Thompson. Lee is screen on McGinnis. Jefferson with the three. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Nine seconds on the shot. Here's Curry. Back to Jefferson. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Pistons leading by three. The pass to Maxie. Goes Big Dog. Into Maxiel. And yes, sir, that one drops. Maxiel's got seven points for the quarter. Boy, they are really getting chewed up inside here. I mean, that's eight of the last ten points they've given up inside, in the paint. Yep, and the paint should be sacred ground for a defense. I mean, you can't let anybody just trot in there and get an easy bucket. Thompson against Spaghetti. And Thompson kicks to Jefferson. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The Warriors have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And so he hits the technical free throw. One fifty-seven left here in the third quarter. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And now the Pistons fast break. McKinney. It's rebounded by Richard Jefferson. Warriors trail by four. Curry with it. Picked up by Maggetti. Curry dishes to Landry. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Landry's got ten points. And We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Knight and Stucky are manning the backcourt. Big Dog is out there with Greg Monroe. And it's Prince in at the threesome. That's the group for Detroit right now. Knight passes to Stuckey. Six on the shot clock. Lifts up. That one goes. That's four of the last five buckets now coming in the paint area. And they're in attack mode right now. Barreling in there with bad man intention. Curry kicks to Landry. Monroe on him. The baseline J. He feeds it to Rush. A three ball. Good. Both of these teams have really stepped it up offensively. You know what, Steve? They haven't missed a chance, and I think both teams really know what's at stake on every possession here. Stucky left side. Over Rush. And the shot is good from Stucky. Well, that makes five of their last six makes coming from inside. They're yeah, really focused on getting the ball into the paint because they're taking advantage of very porous defense down there. And here is Curry. This is a delay. He passes to be a drench. From beyond the arc, Tayshawn Prince with the rebound. Prince has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Big Dog, back tonight. 
just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Knocked loose. Prince outside. Pistons passing it around. Here is Knight. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And it's a nine-point Piston lead. Well, I bet you he'd like to forget that first half that he had. It's nice to see him bounce back here in the second. Knight against Kerr. Overnight. Detroit with the rebound. Big Dogs got eight rebounds in this game. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, they got a chance to come back. Yeah, it's too easy. They're getting whatever they want down there. You said it, Steve. Five straight field goals inside for them. The defense has to clamp down here. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson had some words for his team over that break. He is not pleased with the score and implored them to try to make a push right now, saying, we don't have time, fellas. If we can't make a dent soon, I'll have to pull the plug. Pretty blunt, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, Doris. And the Warriors making a change here. Lee is checked in. Pistons leading by 11. They've got to push it. Here's Big Dog. He's covered by Landry. Here's Big Dog. Leads him in there. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Golden State Warriors. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. And their journey is just getting started. That'll be the second of seven straight on the road. Outside Curry. The dish to Landry. I'm the money from 12 feet away. Landry's got 15 points in just the second half. It's been a great day for him from the field, but his team still trailing. Dishes up to Prince. Shoots from the line. Good. Now here's Curry. The shot is off. And the Pistons now going the other way. Shooting wise, he's having a tough quarter. I mean, he just seems to have gone cold. Can't find the basket. And Craig Monroe with the shot. The defense just couldn't recover in time. Yeah, but he pretty much went brain neutral on that one, Clark. Wouldn't, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, sir. I like that phrase. Yeah, I don't use that phrase very often, but to me, that's what happened. He uh, shifted the, the brain into neutral. Yes, he did. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Creating that kind of shot in close is really your primary objective every possession. Pistons leading by 11. Now Knight. On the wing, Stuckey. Stuckey left side. That's good. And the Pistons lead by 13. This has been an offensive explosion, guys. They are on fire. How about a volcanic eruption, a flash fire? And defensively, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. They just hope that they cool off at some point. Lead kicks to Barnes. He dishes it to Kirk. Ticked away. And even three-on-three three break to the paint. Knight covered by Lee. The feed to Prince. Kicks it to Knight. Here's the floater. Here's Hammond. Yes, and Knight with the assist that time. Knight's got six assists now in the game. Warriors trail by 15. Outside curve. On deep. 
And the shot is good. Curry's got five points in the quarter. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. Knight dishes to Stuckey. There's Big Dog. And good coming on the assist by Rodney Stuckey. Big Dog's got 22 points. Warriors have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Curry with it. Feeds it to Barnes. Three pointer. Back to Curry. Pass to Landry. Rebound, Detroit. Another board for them, and he got a huge advantage in that regard. Yeah, it's not really a surprise. I mean, rebounding one of the true barometers in winning basketball games, and if you rebound better, you typically are going to win ball games and do it comfortably. Stop. Second shot opportunity, and he finishes at the rack. Big Dog's got 10 points in just the second half. I can tell you for sure they didn't want this. I actually can guarantee it. They're getting pounded, brutalized inside. Now, it wouldn't be so bad if they were getting the same looks on the other end, but that's just not the case. Barnes passes to Kirk. He kicks it to Lee. Monroe on him. Lee kicks to Landry. And that is good. Landry's got four points now in the quarter. And Detroit has possession. They lead by 14. Here's Curry. Jump point with one hand. And check out your point guard showing you major bounce above the rim. How about this? The smaller the player, the bigger the highlight. I love that. <laughs> and that was a highlight. Terrific finish. Here's the screen. against Kirk. And Lee pulls it down. Lee's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Curry with him. And it's Knight picking him up. That's it five from 18. And it's Golden State with another. He's showing some signs of life here in the second after having a very forgettable first half. Pistons leading by 10. Stucky outside. And the shot is good. Here's Rush. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Curry. Rebound, Detroit. Big Dog's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. And that's the way it's been. A big margin for them in the rebounding category. You know, sometimes you got to get down and dirty and do the dirty work. And in this one, they've done it, and it's paid off on the scoreboard in a big way. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. Curry attacking. Shots good. You got to love what he's doing out there, guys. With his team down, he's personally trying to bring them back. Piston shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. Knight with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. There's a screen. Let's a floater go. Stucky can't get it to go. Warriors shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. It's Curry outside. And the shot is good. Big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. There's 31 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Knight against Kerr. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Big Dog. It's Prince on the wing. Four on the clock. Prince, right side. 
Rice grabs the miss. Yeah, that's very uncharacteristic for him to miss that shot with such little defensive pressure. And so the Pistons take the win. It was a solid win. You shot lights out tonight and played a huge role in the win. Did you have a feeling coming in that you were going to be hot, or did this performance kind of catch you by surprise? 